a monthly boot camp. I can't believe we're already like partway through our spring market. Um, and happy Cinco de Mayo, by by the way. Uh, welcome to our May boot camp. Uh, excited to have everybody on today. We have changed lots of things. So even if you attended a boot camp like 30 days ago, our Lair Agent Services platform has had some major changes and upgrades. Literally, it's something that our team is constantly tweaking. Uh, so I'm really excited to show you guys that today. Now, I like to start all of our programs off by reminding you that even if you're not a Lair Agent, you're going to get tons of resources today. We're going to give you marketing resources uh, cool technologies to use. We are going to point you in the right direction for growing a significant real estate business in the next few hours. So as I like to remind everybody at the start of every program, knowledge is not power. Uh, execution is power. And that just means that I appreciate that you're spending the next three hours with us, even if you can only spend a couple hours with us. And we wanna make sure that you take stuff away and you go execute in your business. We don't wanna see you uh, investing so much time and energy into learning great things. So at the start of each program, I like to say, just write down like one to five on a piece of paper and throughout the program, come up with, five items that you're going to go execute on when you leave today. We are going to cover tons of stuff. So sometimes what happens is agents get overwhelmed with the amount of information in this program. And there's no reason to, because you can just take your one to five items that you're going to go execute on. And the cool thing about our program is that we always record it and we put it on our YouTube station. So at the end of the program or even next week, you can go to our youtube.com backslash Lair, L-A-E-R training and watch it again or fast forward to a section that you thought was really interesting or something that you want to add to your business. But we are going to cover a ton in the next few hours. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, what you're looking at on the screen is our Lair Program and Services Guide. This is roughly a 30-page booklet, and it's designed uh, to go over all of the resources that agents have access to when they join Lair as a brokerage. As I mentioned, even if you're not a Lair agent, we put in here... Um, oh, Sergio, looking for me to add... I don't know how to do that. Can you take the host back, Sergio? Uh, I can't. Oh, that's weird. Hold yeah. on. So if you want to click on that picture, you can and add me as a host. What do I, um, what do I click on? Oh, click on your picture? Yeah, on the, the three dots. How about if I make you a co-host? Does that matter? That should work. Okay. I just added you. Perfect. Okay. So... Um, this 30 page guide is what our agents use to know what resources they have at Lair. You can uh, grab a copy of this at lairrealty.com, L A E R realty.com backslash success tools. Uh, we'll have Sergio throw a link in the chat in case you don't have it. I think it's a good idea to print out a copy of this just to take notes as you go along today. The cool thing about this PDF version of it is anytime you see something uh, underlined within the guide, that is a link to more information. So we designed it so that each page is a tool or resource that you have for your business, but we wanted it to be interactive. Each page is set up so that you know what the tool is, and then we give you links so that you can go watch a training video or uh, information so you can best utilize that tool. Now, like I said, even if you're not a Lair agent, you're going to get a ton of info today. Even within the guide, there's so much content uh, designed to help any real estate agent grow a successful business. So what I don't want to see, I see we have a mix of Lair agents and outside 
agents from other brokerages no reason to leave i don't want you to think of oh, this is a layer program i'm going to jump off now absolutely not we're going to uh, fill your coffers with all kinds of great information tools marketing resources training programs to help you lift up your business for 2023. Uh, so a little bit about Lair. I'll give you a really quick background on our brokerage. Lair Realty is an independent real estate brokerage. We're one of the largest independent real estate brokerages in the country, um, according to Real Trends and Riz Media, who rank the largest brokerages in the country. Uh, we've been in business for nine years, and our focus and goal is to help accelerate the success of real estate agents. What many of you may not realize is that the success rate of real estate agents is super low. What that means is 97, I'm sorry, 87% of people who get a real estate license are already out of the business three years later. And we believe that that is a byproduct of there's lots of companies. First of all, there's lots of great real estate brokerages where you can go and get direction and support and training. But there's even more brokerages where agents go and get no direction, no support. We wanted to be the company where we offer um, a massive amount of resources, training, support. Our belief at Lair is that the agent is the brand. So uh, when consumers are selecting a real estate agent, it is our belief that the consumer is selecting the human being that they feel comfortable working with. That is you, the real estate agent. And so it's not the real estate brokerage that is the brand, it is the agent. So what is the role of a great real estate brokerage? The role of a great real estate brokerage is support. So our goal from the beginning was to provide direction, support, training, coaching, so that agents could accelerate their success. Um, and you'll get to see some of that as we go throughout today's program, how like the support works and uh, things like that. Anyways, we started nine years ago. We now help around 3,500 uh, buyers and sellers a year uh, with real estate. Today, we have somewhere around 750 real estate agents throughout New England and Florida and growing. And uh, our, the reason that those numbers make us excited and the fact that we are one of the real uh, largest real estate brokerages. So as a small independent to be rated as a top 200 real estate company in the country up against massive mega brokerages and massive franchises. Um, we're proud of it because it shows that our model works, that if we just focus on helping agents accelerate in their own success, let the agents shine, let the agents be the brand, um, the model will thrive, but more importantly, our real estate agents will thrive. So you're looking at our layer program and services guide. Again, I think it's a good idea to print it out. This changes a lot. You're going to see our company changes a lot. Uh, the program and services guide does get updated regularly. You'll see down, always on the front page, if you go down to the bottom, you'll see a link, a uh, link the when it was last updated that way you just have an idea if you're using the most current version of the program guide uh that changes you'll see our layer agent services page constantly changes we're constantly tweaking it and uh really paying attention to how we organize things with the, within the company to help our agents get the resources they need in a nice, easily, easy and efficient way. So again, if you don't have a copy of this, you can go to Lair Agent Service. I'm sorry, you can go to LairRealty.com backslash success tools. Uh, and you'll see this pop up the page we're looking at now. But if you scroll to the bottom of that page, there's a PDF version of this guide. So you can just print it out and uh, take some notes on it.
today. So let's see. Now, the first few pages of our program guide go over our cultural values. So we have 30 cultural values that we live by. Those kind of like guide us on our path while we help our agents do business throughout the year. And then once you get to um, past those few pages of our cultural values, every page after that is a tool or resource. So each page from page five to the end of the guide is a tool or resource that you have for your business. And we're going to spend the first part of our morning really covering the one of the biggest tools that our agents have access to. Now, I, because some of you on today's program are not LAIR agents, you'll note that we're really proud of the fact that a great deal of the information I'm about to show you is accessible by any real estate agent. So we're giving you on this page literally thousands and thousands of dollars worth of content and marketing and training that you can begin using immediately in your business. So let's click over. As I mentioned, all of these are live links. So when you're looking at the guide, uh, anytime you see something underlined, that's a live link to more information. So let's click on the layer agent services. And this takes us over to our agent services dashboard. Uh, if you were on last month's call, you'll note that this has changed in the last 30 days. We're constantly tweaking it. I think I'm gonna make a new tweak on it today. I'll let you guys, Sergio and Len. One of the things I think is, it's very interesting because I've been reading books about font and it's always been interesting to me because um, Steve Jobs was a nut over font. And it's something that you don't really think about, but I've been looking like, I've been playing with the font on the uh, links and I don't love it. I think it's kind of hard sometimes when like you're trying to get information from your phone, it's harder to read. So I think maybe a project I'll work on over the weekend is fixing some of the fonts on here. So especially when you get down into the, um, to the main buttons, you'll see Craig, Sergio and I are building out this new sustainability section. I don't think there's anything under there yet but um, kind of separating out instead, all of the sustainability stuff has been under the library. We're gonna separate it out so it has its own page because what we're thinking about with the sustainability is having all the resources we already have, but also you constantly mention like websites and tools and stuff and having a whole bottom section that has um, links to the tools. Okay, let's see. So we're at the layer agent services dashboard. And again, any agent can access most of the information on here. Right at the part, right at the top of the dashboard, we have our new agent announcements. I see some of you guys are actually on today's program. So welcome to uh, your first boot camp. Uh, so we always put, as people are joining the brokerage, we add them here. So you have a feel for who's, who's joining the company and we encourage you to uh, reach out and welcome them. Uh, but then once you scroll down a little bit, you get to the real meat of um, the, this whole site. There's tons and tons of stuff. So right at the top underneath where we announce the new agents, there's a little section uh, for resources for recently joined agents. Uh, if you click on these, like the first link is the layer program and services guide, which we were just looking at a moment ago. Um, so if at any point you get stuck, you can't remember where to go get that. It's right at the top. It's the first link on our site underneath the new agents. Uh, secondly, we have a link to frequently asked questions about our company. So if you are a newer agent and we're gonna talk about our happy agent support system, that if you need anything, literally just email happyagent at layerrealty.com and our team will reach out and get back to you. But um, 
sometimes there's like little questions about where to find stuff. If you go over to our frequently asked questions page, that is like, we have about 250 of the most common questions and it has like a little search tool at the very top of the page so that you can go search for what you need and you might be able to just get a very quick answer. And again, you're always welcome just to go to uh, Happy Agent. And then also there's a little section here for tell the world. And these are just like, we have a little onboarding checklist to help you with social media announcements, text announcements. As you guys will all soon see, our entire brokerage is built off of Canva. Our marketing team is built off Canva. Everything we do is built off Canva. So like the social media announcements, postcards, letters, all of these are going to open into Canva templates so that you can go in and customize your templates for um, your announcement. So that's all under the just joint res resources for recently joined real estate agents. Then we're going to move down to the next section, which is marketing, branding, and presentations. Um, so the first button here is guides, presentations, brochures. So if you click on that right here, I mean, for all of you that just are attending with us today, this link alone is worth thousands of dollars to your business because it saves you time. You don't really have to go reinvent a listing presentation or building a beautiful buyer's guide or building a beautiful seller's guide. Uh, if you scroll over, if you go through this, there's all kinds of awesome brochures and um, presentations. So all of these open in, almost all of these open into Canva. Now, the reason these are so important, if any of you have taken the Algorwin class that we offer, uh, which is basically an algorithm for doing 30 plus transactions a year, one of the things that we tell you to do at the start of every year is um, prepare your buyer packages, your seller packages, and your investor packages so that you're prepared. If you meet a buyer this afternoon, you don't have to go like block three hours off your calendar so that you can go build a nice package to give to that buyer. We say you should have 10 or 20 buyer packages, 10 or 20 seller packages, and 20, 10 or 20 investor packages. And this section is all the stuff that would go into your packages. So the at the very top of the page, you'll see the layer guide to real estate investing. If you open that, you'll see it opens in a Canva template. So this is a book. So there is a buyer guide, seller guide, and investor guide amongst other things in here. But this is basically a, I think it's 13 pages. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, oh, 11 pages. So the investor guide is 11 pages about investing in real estate. So if it's all in Canva, so it's super easy to customize it. You just go in. We have one page that is meant to be the page about you, where you put in your photo, your contact info, um, your bio about you. You can customize any of these pages. So we leave it all unlocked that you can go add or delete whatever you want. You can take out this logo. You can whatever you want, you can customize every page here. And that's just the investor guide. Um, we also have a buyer guide, beautiful buyer's guide. And so the way I see people using these is printing them out, professionally binding them. If you are a layer agent, you're welcome to use any of our 30 plus real estate offices and go in and print and bind these so that they look really beautiful. This is the buyer's guide. It's the same thing. 
it's got one page in there so you can go customize it and then you are welcome to go through and customize any of these pages but these basically just explain the buying process and then at the end you can add like your picture your logo whatever you want this particular guide is 16 pages long so all of that is customizable uh, we have a layer agent seller guide so that one same thing anybody can go in and open these templates and start customizing and this one I think we have two different covers on this so you would pick one of these two covers and delete the other one and then this is a 14 page guide uh there's a page about you you go in and customize and then all the rest is done there is no inventing the wheel on any of these guides and we have other brochures in there so if you're a layer agent we have a wonderful layer brochure like a four page brochure about who layer is uh, I kind of like this little this is a home buying process monopoly board so it's like a little flyer that you can print out and have at your open houses for example you go in and customize it but it's like a little monopoly board of the buying process all opens in canva and oh same with the home selling process we also have a monopoly board we have a listing presentation a layer listing presentation um I like these little local guides so if you open this little local guide all of this is customizable but you open this little local guide and this is like just a little two-page brochure and it's meant to be customized for a particular area so let's just say you're doing a an open house in Westford Massachusetts and you got all of your other stuff like your uh, listing sheets stuff like that I would also include a little locals guide to Westford so this requires that you do a little research but you go in and put like your favorite pizza shops or your favorite boutiques or your favorite places for brunch all this is customizable so you say like top 10 to explore in the Westford area so I think these are cute just to leave it open houses to let the people coming into the open house know some of the stuff happening in the area we also have this little vendor brochure these are your trusted vendors all meant to be customized by you if you've been through our Algorwin class your vendor list is a massive potential source of revenue for your business and so it's really important for you to start building out a vendor list and we have a process for you doing that within the Algorwin class but um this is the form so like this is the document that you can include in your buyer packages your seller packages so again this is all meant to be customized by you um there's a weekly listing report in there the market is probably not at a place where you need this just yet but in the old days houses did not sell right away in the old days like going back five years houses sat on the market for a while so each week you would have to like tell your seller what you did in the last seven days to market the property or the last 30 days to market the property so we have a really cool little listing report it has to be updated by you but it looks really nice so that each week you can send it to the seller and say this is what I've done this week um we have a cool little final walkthrough form all of these are meant to be updated and customized but as you could see like just in this one little page if you left the program right now if you left and didn't watch the rest of the boot camp you got so much content just on this one little page I wouldn't leave because imagine what you'll get in the next few hours uh if you hang around with us for a little bit longer um and then we have like year in review this year in review social media posts I like to point out because sometimes this gets passed over because people say well I don't need that till the end of next year but the way I see agents using this is 
these are just like little things. Typically at the end of the year, you'll see agents like post all of their houses that they sold in the last 12 months. But this is kind of cool to use monthly. So you'll see we have all different formats in here. You just pick the one format that you want because when you go to download it, you don't have to download all the pages. You just download the one image that you want. So let's just say, for example, um, you had five, five properties that you put under agreement in the last 30 days, then I would just change it, like change, put uh, May of 2023 up here and then add photos of each of the five properties and then just update the words here. So there's all these little cool, these little cool images. I think there's about 20, 20 plus of them. Yeah, about 20 different images to choose from. And just go in and pick the one you want, but you don't have to wait till the end of the year. You can use it as a monthly post. So that's just under guides, presentations, brochures, that one little section of the Lair Agent Services section. That's under marketing, branding, and presentations. Uh, the next up is our weekly social media assistant. I'm going to have Sergio spend a lot of time on this in a little bit. But what this is good to know, if you're a layer agent, you guys know that every Monday we send you all of your social media posts. So each Monday you'll get a text from our marketing team saying, um, here's all your social media posts for the week and their Facebook uh, Facebook posts or images, um, Instagram stories, stuff like that. So you never have to come up with content. But let's just say you want to go back and find something from an old post that you liked because our content's changing all the time. Uh, you could just go here and it finds, find what you're looking for. Uh, third, uh, special marketing requests. I'll have Sergio cover this in a little bit while as well. But if you're a layer agent, as you know, anytime you list a property, we're going to create all of your marketing for you. You don't have to call somebody and say, I just got a new listing. Can you make me listing sheets? We know you got a new listing and we will take care of all of that for you. Uh, but throughout the months and the weeks and the year, agents always have special requests for uh, types of marketing they need us to do. So you can just go to this little form, just the layer marketing requests, and that will ask you questions about what the request is. That goes to our marketing department and they can assist you in making whatever type of marketing piece you need. Uh, next is open house resources. This is interesting for a few different reasons. First, if you were on previous um, previous versions of the boot camp, this section is all new, the open house marketing and branding section. So this is all, all of this is brand new. There's a little bit that hasn't changed, but if you go to open house resources and click on that, it used to be up until about two weeks ago, when you go to this section, it used to just be these two buttons. One is, do you need open house coverage? So that button right there is for if you're a layer agent and you've got 20 listings and you have four sellers that want open houses this weekend, you click this button, tell us about your open house, you fill it out and a uh, request. So let's just say you want to notify all the agents in the in our offices in the marketplace that you need open house coverage, you fill this out and then you click on which offices you want to notify. And then an email goes out to all of the agents in those offices saying, hey, Paul has an open house that he needs somebody to cover in Chelmsford. So this is our way that we can help our um, agents that have a lot of inventory get coverage. And it also helps our agents that have no inventory get some new business. There's also a broker open house notification. One of the things we encourage is that if you're a layer agent doing a broker open house, we want to encourage our other agents to attend it. So um, 
this is just a little notification form where you go fill out. If you're doing a broker open house, you fill this out and a notification will go to all of our, um, go to all of the agents in the offices you select. So we're not going to mass email it to um, 750 agents because then we don't want the Florida agents having to find out here about a broker open house in New Hampshire, but you just select the uh, towns you want to notify. And that's so that as a team, we can come together to support your open house. So that used to be the entire open house section until the last two weeks. This is one area we've been working on so that now if you uh, have attended some of the live Algorin classes that we've been doing uh, throughout Massachusetts and Florida, one of the things that we focus on in there is using each open house you do to get lots of new business. So we want to give you all the resources so that your open houses are incredible. And so all of your marketing pieces you need for that open house are here. First of all, we have, uh, these are all, all open in Canva as well, but we have a nice, uh, clean, neat open house sign-in sheet. Uh, let's see, we have a nice, pretty uh, welcome to our open house. So just a little that you could put right into a frame or something, just welcoming people to your open house. And as you can see, everything just opens nice and simply into Canva. Um, interior signs. These are kind of cool. These can be used for anything. Um, like little reminders throughout the house. So if you wanna post little signs throughout the house to either remember to like lock the doors and stuff like that, but also if there's little things you wanna highlight throughout the house, these are great to utilize. So if you wanna point out, uh, let's say, especially some of the open houses still are super busy. We just had one this week and there was over 60 people through. You can't effectively have conversations with 60 people and show them all the cool things about the house. So this is a great resource to use these little signs and post them throughout the interior of the house. So you're pointing out like upgrades or things that you would like for uh, people to notice. There's also like this little feedback survey this is also just another version of the open house sign-in sheet. So if you wanted to get like more information, these are much more helpful in my opinion when the market is shifting or if you have a property that might need like a, a price improvement. If there's information that you wanna relay back to a seller, but you don't really want it to be coming from you, you want them to know that the customer has, or potential customers think this about the property, this is a cool open house feedback form. So that's all sign-in sheets, signs, and feedback forms. Then if you go down further, we have open house marketing and branding. So first you have a little open house thank you text. So these are like a little, they're specifically formatted images. So what we tell our agents is like, go through, put, you wanna upload three pictures of the open house that you're doing, your photo, your contact information. And these are like perfectly formatted for a text so that you have them all done. That way, while you're at your open house, as people leave, You've got their phone number right on your sign-in sheet. You just text them the image and it says, hey, thanks for coming to my open house at 10 Main Street. It's got some pictures of the property with all of your contact information. Um, also, we have some cool little um, tags for like, thanks for popping into the open house. So you could give out, people are always, 
agents are always looking for inexpensive ways to have to give like an item of value. And these would be for like little microwave popcorns. So you could uh, print out the little tags and give them out with microwave popcorns saying thank you for popping into the open house. And then we also put some kids activity sheets in here. And um, we recommend you can buy at like the party stores, the little things of crayons. And there's like just a handful of different little activity sheets. So you can print these out and have them like little packets for the kids that go through your open house. So those are all new additions under this open house section. And this goes along with our Algorwin class, like being super thoughtful. You're running a real estate business. So you want to be super thoughtful about everything you do, whether it's an open house or a marketing piece, you want it to look really good. Well, we've done most of the work for you. So that's all under the open house, open house resources section of marketing, branding, and presentations. Next, we have our commercial marketing resources. This is fairly new over the last 60 days. So our, we have a commercial group that meets once a month, and it's basically just real estate agents who are highly interested in commercial real estate. So they bring in speakers and stuff like that. So there's some cool marketing um, and other pieces, just commercial real estate tools under here. Number one, we made a really nice commercial listing slash presentation slash guide. So if you're going on a commercial listing presentation, you want a nice piece to bring on your appointment, it's right here. Um, we have a commercial offering memorandum, and then we also have some cool spreadsheets like commercial valuation models uh, in there as well. So if you're doing any commercial real estate, you can check out that commercial marketing resources. And then we put together a little section called signs, apparel, and print marketing. So this is where if you're a layer agent and you want to order like layer for sale signs or open house signs with your name on them or business cards or layer apparel, um, it's all here as well. We have lots of agents that like to do print marketing. So First, I'd like to tell everybody that when it comes to any of the links we share on our Layer Agent Services site, like these ones, like MLS Mailings, Wise Pelican, we don't get anything from these companies. So we are, we just think their products are really good. So they're not on here. Some of the real estate companies use their um agent dashboards to uh, push programs or businesses where they get um, they get a piece of the income that none of that is here so these are just really good companies that our agents use on a regular basis now write down a couple things first of all I said at the start of today's program you guys should walk away with five things that you're gonna go execute on in your business. And there's a couple, one of the things I believe you should all execute on when you leave today's program is putting together your buyer package, your seller package, and your investor packages. So this is like nice packages with um, like a whole buyer package with, for example, brochure about you, a buyer, uh, booklet, um, a brochure about Lair or whatever company you work at. So you should, I think that should be at the top of your list of things to execute on. I'm going to give you a couple more here. Anytime in your business, you can find opportunities to set it and forget it. That means like to have things working for you, even if you're not working on the business, you should adopt that. Because eventually you'll want to scale your business. And to, for you to scale your business, you will need to have systems working for you or people working for you. 
And so there's a couple tools here right under the print marketing that I think are phenomenal for scaling your business. Number one is MLSmailings.com. I think that every agent should have this if you want to incorporate mailings into your business. Specifically, what they're good at is just listed, just sold postcards. So uh, basically, the way MLS mailings works is it hooks into your multiple listing service. So you go in once and you set it up and you put your photo, your logo, your contact information. And then you tell the system, every time I sell a house, I want 200 just sold postcards to go to the neighborhood. Or every time I do a uh, listing, I sell one of my listings, I want 200 just sold. So just listed, just sold. It creates an automatic postcard. I forget the pricing, but it's right on the front page of their website. Um, and it's set it and forget it so that you don't have to worry about the uh, marketing pieces going out because that's the stuff people forget about when the market picks up. All of a sudden you get tons of business and you're not doing the marketing pieces. So have the marketing being done for you. MLS mailings. I also love TPMCO, the personal marketing company. The reason I love this one is they have five-year campaigns. So I don't know the pricing on it, but it's super inexpensive. Somewhere around, I think, $30 or $40, like a one-time fee. Anyways, um, they set up a five-year campaign. So every few months, it, let's just say you close on a transaction, you put the client into the personal marketing company, into your database, and every few months, that person is going to get some sort of mailer from you. Sometimes it's a postcard. Sometimes it's a magazine. It's all different things. But what's really great is you don't have to think about it. The mailing's going out on your behalf. Wise Pelican, um, many of our agents swear by Wise Pelican for mailings. It drives me insane. I have to say, when I see real estate agents sitting at their desk, old school putting labels on stuff to, there's no reason for that because there's companies like wise pelican that you can upload your database so number one you can upload your database and then design your marketing pieces in 10 seconds because they have a million of them to choose from upload your database and you press send it's done you're not sitting at your desk like putting like organizing a mailing Organizing a mailing is never going to be the best use of your time, because even if you're doing bulk mailing, the amount of time it costs you to send that mailing, like it's so much more inexpensive to just use a mailing, a print marketing and mailing service like a wise Pelican. Secondly, oftentimes agents don't have their database of who they want to send to. Wise Pelican, you can also just pick a neighborhood. So you can go in and circle a neighborhood on a map and say, I want my package, I want my mailer to go out to this neighborhood. Yellow Letters Complete, I've used Yellow Letters Complete for all kinds of stuff. They'll do like little personal note cards from you if you want to send out like, imagine if you picked a neighborhood uh, with 200 homes and instead of doing like just a postcard, you sent a little handwritten personal note to everybody in the neighborhood. Now, of course, you doing that would be take a very long time and your time is valuable. So it'd be very expensive. But Yellow Letters Complete could have that out for you by Monday. You just go on now and you tell them exactly what you want. They have two different versions. One is a computer handwritten um no card but they also have actual handwritten no cards so you pick which one you want but yellow letters complete does all that rsp data driven marketing is also another marketing resource our agents swear by so i would say that number one on your list of five things that you're going to go execute on i would definitely say your buyer seller and investor packages and then i would pick one of these uh, maybe mls mailings 
um just have your just listed just sold postcards automatically done uh or maybe it's you go out and do like a neighborhood mailing of personal note cards okay now we're going to move down to the business development so we just went through like the marketing branding and presentation section let's take a look now at uh the business development section and a couple things i want you guys to see here if you go to classes meetings and coaching this will take you over to a page that has first of all uh the layer boot camp so you guys made it to the boot camp but uh if you want to watch the layer monthly sales meeting second wednesday of every month it's open to anybody uh and we make sure that every month we're giving you good content and new tools new training new ways to go out and conquer the market uh you could check out our entire training calendar here so if you click on the training calendar uh that'll take you over to a google page that has our calendar on there it's just taking a second to there it goes um one thing I do recommend here so you'll see like Tuesday Wednesdays Thursdays there's usually training as well first Friday of every month is the boot camp but if you go to the bottom of that calendar you can actually integrate our training calendar into your phone calendar whether you use Google or iCal I recommend doing that what's cool about it is then when you open up your um your calendar each day you'll see an overlay of any classes that we're offering that way you never miss a potential class uh we have Lair University so all you need to know is that anytime we do a training class it gets recorded and we put it at either Lair University or on our YouTube training station and oftentimes we put it on both the reason this is important is first of all if you miss a class that we're doing so we're doing let's say we have a upcoming class that you really want to attend but you can't attend it you can just go take the watch the rerun of that class basically at Lair University or the YouTube station that's one reason this is important the second reason this is important is whatever you're struggling with in your business whether it's lead generation or persuasion or listing um how to do a listing presentation every it, we have a class for everything through these two links there's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of training classes so you don't have to go very far to get help on whatever it is you need if you can't find something you can always email happy agent at layerrealty.com if you need help like finding something in particular like a particular class and we'll just send you the link so you don't even have to go through the whole process of um searching for it but everything you need is in these two links and then the last piece we have is oh we actually have a couple others we have layer coaching so first of all uh our coaching program I think is second to none uh for agents that want another level a higher level of hands-on somebody kind of overseeing you holding you accountable then I recommend you check out our layer coaching program and basically if you're a layer agent this is a free program and basically what it is um every few months we start a new round of coaching if you sign up so you can learn all about the program it's basically when you join the program we send you this really thick manual it's like a 250 page manual broken down into 12 months and each each month it has you focus on a different area of the business so like month one is business planning month two is lead generation month three is building your database so each month there's a, 
a section that you concentrate on, and then we give you a checklist of work that must be done. Uh, so we send you the guide. And for the first six months of the program, we assign a coach to you. Uh, that coach hosts two monthly uh, coaching calls. And uh, they those two monthly coaching calls are designed so that you can ask questions um, and be held accountable. So the coach will ask you what you've completed in the monthly resource section. So this whole page under layerrealty.com backslash layer coaching, it tells you about the program. It hel helps you decide if coaching is right for you. It is definitely not for everyone. You really have to have the time to commit to it. You have to, in my opinion, be doing this as a full-time job in order to have the time to commit to coaching. Uh, who is Who are the coaches? The coaches are high-performing real estate agents. So we pay our coaches. We're paying them on behalf of you to help you grow your business. So we pay our higher-performing real estate agents to, to be the coaches for agents that want to get their production up. Uh, and let's see. Doesn't cost anything for their agents except if you quit. So we've built in a penalty into the program, mostly because we don't want your money. We want you to stay in the program. So we build in that penalty as an additional incentive to make sure you stay in the program, even when it gets hard. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, at the very bottom, there's a form that you can fill out that you're interested in the layer coaching program. Um, and it tells us about you. The reason we have you answer these questions is so we can pair you up with the right coach. So that's all under here. And then also um, our How to Build a $10 million Interview podcast. And last, there's a link here. Uh, if you're a newer agent in Mass, New Hampshire, or Florida, we have like little videos on how to do the whole real all the real estate forms. So if you need a refresher on that, that's all under the classes, meetings, and coaching. All right, we are back to um, so that was under classes, meeting, and coaching. Also under here, uh, we have a section of business plans and growth systems. Now, if you click on this, we basically have a few different resources. The biggest resource we have is our Algorwin system. Uh, Algorwin is a program that we developed late last year. And this is a system that will help you have massive success in your business. If we have some time at the end of the program, there's a good chance we won't. I can go through exactly everything in the system. But basically, if you go to this link, uh, you can actually download the entire guide if you want to. Uh, we've been sending out emails of live Algorwin classes. We did already did some in Florida and in Massachusetts. We have more of them coming up in Massachusetts. You can watch the recorded short version of the Algorwin class on our YouTube station. Um, if you go attend one of the live classes, we give you a nice uh, bound copy of the book so you can work off of. But basically, um, the system was developed by studying high performing agents. And basically, we give you a systematized approach to building a significant business. And we say, if you do the items in this book, you will close 30 plus transactions per year. So if you're already closing 30 transactions, the system will get you to another 30 transactions. The reason for it is it is uh, a checklist system. So it's basically seven checklists for your business, uh, annual checklist that you do once a year, a monthly checklist that you do once a month, a weekly checklist that you do once a week, in addition to a checklist for uh, when you get a new listing, a checklist for when you meet a seller for the first time for a listing presentation, a checklist for buyer consultations, what to do when you meet 
a buyer. And then also a checklist for client appreciation events, because one of the parts that we recommend as part of the annual checklist is scheduling out four client appreciation events. Anyways, the book's about 100 pages long, and it is very thorough. It is very detailed, and it is absolutely a roadmap to success based on what other high-performing real estate agents are doing. So that's all under the Algorwin uh, system. We have some other tr more traditional business planning tools as well. Uh, if you click on just this business planning guide, this is just a PDF. This is different from the Algorwin system. This is just a traditional business planning guide that you would see for real estate. So this one, I want to say, is somewhere around 40 plus, yeah, 45 pages long. And it helps you evaluate your numbers where you were last year in your business, where you want to be this year. Um, it helps you come up with like your mission statement. And uh, this is a traditional business plan. So it's a really nice version of it if you print it out. In fact, I think the algorithm, any of these ones that we're covering in this section under the business plan section, these are phenomenal if you're running a team. I recommend that at least three times a year you get your team together to make sure that they're all moving forward in their business businesses. So um, it's great to just print out this business planning guide and get your agents together to fill it out together and uh, help answer questions for them, stuff like that. There's a third one called a simple plan. This is a um, another one that we wrote and it's a different way of looking at a business plan. So basically, all three of these business plans are just so different. And I think certain ones are going to appeal to certain people. Uh, this guide uh, really has you focus on uh, wh what your current business looks like, what you want it to look like one year from now, and then... Um, it helps you focus on like based on what you're doing right now. For example, this is just like the online reputation section. It has you focus on very minute aspects of your business and what what actions you're taking right now to get the results that you have right now. And then it asks you, where do you plan on being 12 months from now? And what actions does that person 12 months from now, that different version of you, what actions are they taking so that you can develop a, your own roadmap to success? So um, if I have to articulate the difference between the three programs, the business plan, the plain old business plan is just traditional business plan. It's saying, where are you right now? Where do you want to be and what steps are you going to take to get there? This business plan is one that says, let's take a look at who you are as a human being right now and who must you be as a human being in order to get to that new level of success that you're looking for. And then uh, the action steps required to become that new person. It's helping you build your own growth plan. And then the third one is the Algorwin system that is an actual roadmap, a detailed, fine-tuned roadmap of what you must do each week, each month, and every year in order to move towards success. And then we also have a little income producing activities checklist. This is helpful, especially if you find yourself in a rut, in a downturn, um, it's just like a list of things that you can be doing to generate business. So that's all under our business planning tools section. I highly recommend you choose one. So I would say in the top five things that you're going to walk away and execute on the business planning and growth systems, you should pick one, print it out and start working on it. Because that's going to give you like some guidance as you move throughout the year. Uh, agent toolbox. If we go down here, 
Uh, first of all, there's a tech tool section. So first of all, I'm going to cover these in more detail in a little bit, but you have all the layer tech tools right at the top. Um, so Isaac, Boston Logic, Real Scout, uh, as well, there's a link if you're new to layer and you want to sign up for the tech bundle, you can do it right there. These are super cool. These are brand new. These are thanks to Sergio. Um, but these ones, um, these ones have been super popular at our company in the last couple of weeks. First of all, it drives us crazy when an agent at our firm or any firm gets a new listing and writes a one sentence description of the new listing. The customer is hiring you for your marketing prowess. We do not want to see a one line description. What I tell people during our Algorwin classes is you are constantly auditioning for your next deal. So don't be lazy. I know that the market is in most of our areas, like literally you don't have to do professional photography, although you absolutely should. I just sold, uh, an investment property that I own. And it's very interesting because I'm a frugal person. And as a seller of a property, I looked at this investment property that I needed to sell. And I said, do I really need to like go crazy with professional photography? And so I did this little test. And number one, I took photos on my phone. And I'm like, the photos look pretty good. I'm like, I think I don't have to worry about professional photography. And then I tried the next level up. In fact, I think, yeah, I had Sergio add this onto our tech tools at the bottom. Uh, Exposio. I'm like, all right, I'm going to try a second, a second type of photo. Exposio is an app and you take, it's for real estate photos. So uh, you go, you use your phone, you take photos throughout the listing, and it gives them a nicer exposure. It's like the next level up from a phone photo because they lighten it, they make it look much prettier. And I did that, and I was like, that's really pretty. Like, I really don't think I need to do professional photos. And then the more I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? Just do the professional photos. And I'm so thankful that I did the professional photos. And that is the open house that we had 60 plus people through the open house. We had like 15 offers. The, the, um, the agreed price went significantly over the asking price. And honestly, I have to, I believe it came down to like taking time to make sure there was a really good description of the property. Thank you to Sergio. I used the listing description generator and the listing description generator, you basically, by the way, you don't have to be a layer agent to use this tool. Any agent can use it. You go in and you fill out this little form about your new listing. And how many paragraphs would you like your description to be. You fill this out. It takes 30 seconds. And then the system in three minutes emails you this beautiful multi-paragraph description of your listing. Um, so on my property that I was selling, I used the listing description generator and I did end up moving towards, I got professional photography and I think it made all the difference in the world. But most importantly for all of you guys, I'm not auditioning for my next listing. You guys are. So you want when people come through your open house that you have beautiful listing sheets, that you have beautiful photography, you have beautiful listing description. And we try to take all the hard work out of it for you guys. Same with your agent bio generator. When we do the Algorwin class, we spend about one hour talking about if you Googled you, would you hire you? So if you go Googled your name with real estate, 
and look at all the links that come up on the first page and then you click on each one would you honestly hire you because many of you don't have professional photography of you we just talked about the importance of professional photography of the listing well how about professional photography of you because you're a marketing person so you should be marketing you just as well as you would market a listing uh, but also your bio like when somebody lands on your bio page on the website or on anywhere that talks about you do you have a phenomenal bio so Sergio once again came to the rescue and made us this amazing tool that you just fill out a little bit of information answer some questions and press send and the system will email you this amazing bio of you so all the hard work has been removed uh, other cool tech tools these are all tools our agents always use so cloud cma dot loop isaac real scout showing time and then down at the bottom these are some of the cool tools we recommend um show super cool uh if you're an agent and you need somebody to go show a house this afternoon at three o'clock but the school just called and your kid is sick so you have to go pick up your kid bring them home and you can't go show the house but you need somebody to show the house uh showami is all these real estate agents who you can pay somebody to just go show the house for you and they sign all kinds of disclosures so there's no possibility of that agent stealing a customer or anything like that they know they are getting paid just to go show the property so that's one reason why I love Shawami. The other reason I love Shawami is because when a market gets difficult, as uh, some would arguably say the market has been more difficult, um, occasionally you see agents become Uber drivers. Why become an Uber driver when you can be a Shawami agent? In other words, if you need to make some extra money, why not make extra money that also keeps you intimately involved in real estate so you're out looking at real estate and state keeping your head within the game don't go drive a uber go show real estate become a showami agent so i'm a huge fan of showami homebot ai i think is a really cool it's a newsletter uh tool that basically sends every month an email to anybody who's in that database of exactly what their property value is like a pretty detailed market analysis of the property home value leads is uh is very similar to uh homebot although homebot is a little bit prettier uh, but home value leads is like a lead capture page as well so these are really awesome tools uh and again we don't get anything for promoting any of those tools we just think they're awesome so that's why we put them there. Um, I don't think we have anything under sustainability tools yet, do we, Sergio? Uh, yeah, we do. Yep. Oh, we already do. It's not clicking over. You might not have linked it yet. Oh, hold on. Oh, I mean, hold on. Anyways, this is brand new. Sergio and I have been working at building like a section. Um just for stuff on sustainability Very so that you guys, uh, we'll go over and take a quick look and then because our next speaker in a few minutes is going to be uh craig foley so this is brand new the sustainability resources section um and you'll see this grow uh specifically like um you can get the most recent layer sustainability report i'll let craig talk about that um consumer guides on sustainability some uh sustainable marketing resources a green appraisal addendum and then under additional resources when you guys attend craig's training classes and stuff like that he's always throwing out like awesome resources so we're going to put them all here so that when you are looking for something from the work that craig does it's going to be very easy to find so this piece literally this this is brand new um from this morning the information was always out there 
It's just we're trying to organize it so that it's in a nice, easy to find location for you guys. So uh, that's our new sustainable tools section. And then we also have library of other resources that agents use regularly. This is more like logos, um, things like that. We're gonna we're trying to clean this up a little bit as well, but all the stuff that we haven't found a home for yet, we put into the library. Eventually we'll have that all categorized better into um, one of these areas. If you're a layer agent, this is our getting paid. This is our check request like area. So um, we'll cover that if we have time a little bit later, but everything you need to get paid on your commissions is right under this. And then um, at the bottom, we have our agent directory. Uh, if you're looking for a layer agent, you can find them all there and a list of all of our office locations. Before I have um, uh, Craig come up and talk for a few minutes, I want to point out a couple other things. If you scroll to the very bottom of the layer agent services section, there's a couple things that you will find. And one of them is um, our brokerage updates, because in this brokerage updates, you'll find a few things. Most importantly, I think, is the ROAR report. So every month, our marketing team puts together this beautiful um, ROAR report. It's basically a printed newsletter for you to send to clients. So it comes in two different versions of it. But basically, if you let's just look at the standard version. It's a four-page newsletter. It opens in Canva. Uh, and many of our agents use this as their monthly mailing. So this is the May Roar Report, and it's basically a four-page newsletter. It is printed like one that you would print out. And um, we put these little red arrows throughout it so you know what you must change when you're updating it. But it's Canva, so you can go in and update any of it. Um, you can also go in and take out articles. So the reason sometimes agents do this, let's just say that you have a mortgage company that's uh, paying for the postage or something when you mail these out. You might want to do like a little article about your that mortgage company. Or if it's somebody on your vendor list, like a painter or contractor, anything like that, you can go in and do like ch change out anything you want. And within 15 minutes of work, you have a beautiful multi-page newsletter. If you're a layer agent, you can print them at any of our office locations. Um, but I think these are really nice to include in your packages, like your buyer, seller, and investor packages. I think they're great to have at open houses. They're wonderful for mailers. Uh, so you'll find that maybe... Maybe, Sergio, we could put a link under um, the marketing just to make that easier to find for the future. Like okay. under... Like latest rule report? Yes. Okay, got it. Yeah, I think it might be easier to find there. We'll put we'll add that under marketing, branding, and presentations. Got it. Um, but anyways, all of the brokerage updates are here. So like... When we put out our top 25 agent list each month, things like that, we do notify you when that goes out, but uh, this is where you'll find it. As well as we do write articles throughout the month. All of it can be found under the brokerage update section. So that is, we're already almost halfway through the program and we're just on the first page basically of our uh, booklet. So with that, I'd like to now introduce you guys, for those of you who don't know him, to Craig Foley, who is our Chief Sustainability Officer at Lair, to talk to you guys about some of the sustainability initiatives at Lair. Thanks, Stacey. You know, it, one of our cultural values is continuous improvement. And 
I, I, you know, I've been in three brokerages over 23 years and fairly loyal to brokerages, but the three that I've been in, no one's more devoted to continuous improvement than you, Stacy, and our staff. Uh, Len is only 28 years old. That's how how hard he works. So you can, <laughs> yeah. you can see the staff is completely devoted <laughs> to uh, <laughs> making sure that we have the tools available to you. But it's evolving all the time. Thanks to Sergio, Len, obviously Stacy's leadership. Um, just, just, um, it, it's an incredible firm to work for. Uh, Thank yeah, you. I'm very lucky. Uh, I love my role as chief sustainability officer for the company. Stacy, it's good to know that I am not going to be the first and last chief S sustainability officer now. So I know of a company in Austin, Texas that has been following our lead and is going to be doing the same thing. Uh, awesome. I also taught the, taught the green designation up in Portland, Maine this last week. And the entire brokerage and all of the staff, Stacy, were required to be at the green designation training for two full days. Because that's they, awesome. Yeah, it's really cool to see this evolving very, very quickly right now. And it makes sense, you know, uh, according to Suzanne Shelton, who's a, a, a internationally known uh, marketer on sustainability, she says 74% of U.S. consumers are making purchasing decisions based on a company's environmental reputation. And um, the work that we're doing at Lear to engage consumers on this stuff, I think, is really important. And uh, we're certainly getting a lot of attention, uh, even nationally, Stacey, um, for the work that we're doing to engage consumers, agents, and staff on these topics. So really exciting stuff. Awesome. I'm going to just throw out uh, a couple of things. So I'm working right now on the Lear Sustainability Report. And... Um, one of the, this is our Lear check request form. One of the things we did uh, at the end of 2021 is add this feature to uh, the Lear check request form. So if you're not a Lear agent, this is the last thing that you do. You have to fill out this form in order to get your check. So we know everybody goes there because they want to get their checks when they sell a property. You can see that there's a little menu item right here. Does the home have green high performance features? Uh, the automatic piece here is no. And if you click yes, then you get a drop down menu that pops in. This drop down menu gives you some of the basic things that we're going to see in a, uh, in a home with high performance features. These came from MLS PIN. Uh, also for our Florida agents, uh, we pulled from the beaches MLS that they use, storm protection, so resilient home pieces as well. And even if the home has LED lighting and you wanna use that as a green feature, you can fill it in in that last box on the right. So we let this over the course of 2022 do its own thing. And I am, you know, we, we've gotta be honest with this sustainability stuff and our sustainability report. I realized, I failed big time in making in, in really making sure our agents were aware of of this piece. So, of the 3,500 homes our brokerage sold, 70 had green features, or 70 agents filled out the fact that some of these check boxes or added uh, pieces in this last uh, little write-in box that you can use. Now, I can guarantee you that 25 to 30 percent of our homes have uh, the features that you see here, but particularly if you want to add other stuff here, the, the percentage is probably higher. So that's a big fail from my perspective, and I take full responsibility for it. We're the only um, brokerage right now that is tracking high-performance home sales. We really want to make sure that we get this right in 2023. So whether you're working with uh, you know, somebody on the buy side or it's your listing, please make sure that you move that box from no to yes and hit some of these features that are in here. It may have, you know, you may have multiple uh, features that are in here. And again, you could just write in LED lighting, for instance, you know, there's a lot of pieces in here and we want to really make sure that we get this right this next year. Um, we won't be the only firm that's tracking uh, high performance home sales, green home sales by the end of this year. But currently we are, we know of a couple others that are also gonna do this. 
Uh, a big part of my job as the chief sustainability officer is um, making sure our agents have a um, ha have a person that they can go to through Happy Agent or contacting me directly when they run into issues with a home transaction that involves uh, uh, high performance features. This last week, I had uh, two agents contact me who had buyers that were buying a home with a solar PV lease or power purchase agreement. And one of our set of agents contact me about listing a new construction home and wanting to, to get Pearl certified. So they all, all of our agents have a place to go when they know they have questions about issues that can go to that they can go to. With the two buyers in particular that were that were uh, purchasing a home with power purchase agreements, uh, myself, the buyer's agent, and the buyers ended up getting on Zoom calls together so I could guide them through the process of what a power purchase agreement actually means, what a solar lease actually looks like in the benefits. Uh, in both cases, they had they had real benefits for the home buyer in terms of those solar leases. But that process, you know, they're they're uh, complicated documents. Your typical real estate agent isn't used to them. They don't really know what they mean. So that, and I've seen hundreds of these documents over the course of 23 years of selling real estate and really specializing on, on solar panels and particularly on, on, on homes. I've seen, uh, you know, hundreds of these, th these documents. So I, I can usually be a good resource for our agents uh, in terms of uh, making sure they the, their buyers understand the full benefits of this. And I'm always happy to get on a Zoom call with those buyers so that they know they've got a professional that knows what they're do, doing on the other end of this and, and they can give them guidance about what these, uh, what these mean. I'm gonna throw this into the chat, but this is uh, an article that I wrote uh, a few years ago for the Zero Energy Project right up here now called Elemental Green. And it's on the process of, uh, of uh, valuing homes with high performance features. Uh, this is a really important piece um, that, that we, need to, we need to take advantage of. Homes with high performance features do typically sell for more, and they actually can be appraised for more, unlike what you may hear from other agents in your offices. Uh, we have a process for making sure high performance valuation is, is done accurately. Uh, part of that is starting the process with a realtor that's knowledgeable and competent, a green designated realtor. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in, in a bit here. Uh, but there are three critical documents here that we want uh, our agents to use when they're listing homes with high performance features. One is a letter right here, and I'll put this uh, into the, into the uh, chat when we're done. A letter, and we've got it in the Lair Sustainability Toolkit as well, a letter that states we're demanding a qualified appraiser for the home. So what does that actually mean? We know that we can't pick specific appraisers anymore because of the mortgage meltdown that happened in 2008. But as a listing agent, if I'm listing a home with high performance features, I can demand a qualified appraiser. What is a qualified appraiser in this case? Well, we have about a dozen appraisers in the state of Massachusetts that have gone through the Appraisal Institute's Valuation of Sustainable Buildings program. It's a very, very, very rigorous set of three courses that the Appraisal Institute offers for green valuation. So we do have a letter, it's been vetted by every, every attorney known to God to be able to require, to, to, to demand that we have a qualified appraiser that goes on to the mortgage originator. There's a process for demanding a qualified appraiser. That's number one. Number two is there, there's uh, information that's needed for, for that qualified appraiser, the appraiser that's gone through the Valuation of Sustainable Buildings program. And that's the Appraisal Institute's Green Residential and Energy Efficient Addendum. Uh, that's a five-page document that's a uh, addendum to the URAR, the Uniform Residential Appraisal Report that every appraiser uses to uh, appraise single-family homes. Uh, and the Appraisal Institute recognized back in 2009, their original document, 
that these high performance homes have more features than one light item that says energy efficient items. The third tool is the PV value tool down here. So we can actually use for host owned solar PV when the homeowner owns the system uh, and is conveying it uh, to a new buyer, we can actually use an income approach for that power plant on that seller's rooftop that's producing, that's creating income for them. And for the remaining life of the system, that's going to create income for home, the new home buyers as well. So it's not just about comps anymore. Um, you know, it's it's also about using other types of valuation approaches like the income approach to be able to add contributory value, right? So let's say there's 25 years, $25,000 worth of, uh, of value for their remaining 20 years of the system. Let's say a seller's selling a home with five or five-year-old solar PV system. That $25,000 worth of value could be added to the comps in a hot marketplace. So if it you comped it out at 600, maybe you're listing it at 629 or 625, or as the market starts to tighten, maybe we keep it listed at 599. But if we demand a qualified appraiser and we and we have and these qualified appraisers know how to use this tool, and we have that additional $25,000 worth of con contributory value, well, as the market tightens, we know appraisals are going to tighten up as well. That $25,000 worth of contributory value could save a deal. Right. So there's there's some really important tools here for you guys to know about uh, when you're listing these high performance homes. We are the leading uh, real estate firm in Massachusetts with the most green designated agents. I, you know, would prefer all of our agents become green designated, but at least every team at Lear Realty Partners has a green agent so you can move that amongst your team. I feel strongly that if you are not knowledgeable and competent in this part of the marketplace, you're probably leaving a lot of value behind for your seller. So are you really doing the best job possible to make sure that seller is, is seeing their equity uh, properly valued at the time of sale, right? My preference is if you if you aren't knowledgeable and competent in this stuff, if you're not competent about solar PV or heat pumps or whatever it is that's in a home, that you refer that out to a green designated agent. And speaking of green designated agents, this is pretty exciting. Greater Boston Association of Realtors, the upcoming training that I'm going to be teaching is June 6th and 7th. Uh, these are two full day classes, so I get it. It's a lot of time, energy, and money to get this designation. But this is the, the designation that, that gets you up to speed on, on being able to serve your clients with these high performance home features, which are emerging quickly in this state. We have well over 100,000 homes with just solar PV on their rooftops, and those are transacting every day. This is pretty exciting, though. Pearl certification, I'm going to talk a little bit more here. They're one of our, uh, our partners at, at, uh, at Lear, has, is sponsoring this event. And look at the pricing, 175 bucks. This class usually goes for $300. Pearl has really stepped to the plate for this training on June 6th and 7th. Uh, I, you will not see this price again with a live instructor in a, in a class. And even if you take it online, which you can, uh, it's still over two, I think it's like 225 right now. This is a phenomenal price, thanks to our great partners at Pearl Certification uh, that are sponsoring this event. So please take advantage of this. If you're, if you're interested in getting your green designation, this is the, the time and place to do it right now. You'll, you, you just won't see this price again. Um, if you happen, to, and I'll throw all these uh, links in once I finish, if you're going down to the legislative meetings this next week, um, you know, this is the kind of exposure that we're getting at Lair Realty Partners. The, the Real Property Valuation Forum is doing a, um, uh, a panel discussion on green appraisals. And I'm lucky to be working with Sean Murphy from Freddie Mac about some new initiatives Freddie Mac has. Myself and a woman named Sandra Adamatis. Sandy is the um, leading 
green appraisal authority in the United States. And she will be next year, next year's Appraisal Institute president. She wrote the book literally on high, it's the high, it's the it's the Bible of high performance homes. It's called the Residential Green Valuation Tools. Uh, so really excited to be working with these two on, on uh, what green appraisals mean, what it means for greater value, how you can lower your costs uh, by improving your home with uh, green and high performance features. So exciting stuff. If you happen to be down in DC this next week, this will be on Sunday from 2.15 to 3.30. It is also one of the uh, few um, uh, education sessions that are going to be live streamed as well. So you can also uh, do this for free. You can jump on the live stream of the presentation. Sean's information from Freddie Mac is sensitive right now. So he's, he's going to be the third speaker. They, uh, Freddie doesn't want the, the, the information that Sean's going to be sharing on the live stream, believe it or not. So he'll be cut out of the end of the presentation, but you'll definitely get to hear Sandy and, and uh, myself talk about uh, these tools for high performance valuation. I'm going to also throw out just one more thing for you. This is really exciting. Something that happened with the Biden administration this last year in August 2022, passed through Congress, uh, bipartisan um, uh, um, uh, bill that was passed called the Inflation Reduction Act. This is really great because realtors, we've got a bunch of realtors on here that are high performers. We have a tax appetite. We get killed every year by the IRS, right? And that's painful. There's no question about it. Here's a great tool, and if you just Google Rewiring America and IRA calculator, this will pop up, but I will, I'll throw it in the chat afterwards as well. Uh, well, you have five inputs. I used this up in the training up in Maine earlier this month, so you've got a Maine zip code, in which you can put in five inputs to find out the tax incentives that are now available through the IRA for you, as a listing agent, because I know you are as a real estate agent, because I know you all have a tax appetite, and for your customers as well to make green improvements on their home. So I'm going to jump by this because there's some electrification rebates that are popping out. The IRS is still trying to figure out exactly how that's going to roll out. But take a look at that. There's some pretty hefty rebates involved here as well. But the tax credits are powerful, right? So let's just say for a rooftop solar installation, I purchase a, a solar PV system for my home that costs $20,000. I get to take 30% of that or $6,000 off from what I owe the IRS in 2024 if I put that on my rooftop this year. This, there's some powerful, powerful tax savings here for all of you as real estate agents. And we really wanna make sure that you get this information out to your past, present and future buyers as well. Just think about an email that, that contains the IRA information. We should definitely put this, Stacey, in the, in the sustainability toolkit, as well as the article on, on high performance valuation. But these are, these are just powerful, powerful uh, tax saving, legal tax saving tools uh, for you to be able to take advantage of. Um, also, in addition to this, this is very exciting. If you or any of your sphere of influence owns an Airbnb in Massachusetts, you can go to this company, Abode Energy. I just learned about this. And go through Abode if you're an Airbnb host. And on top of the, the normal uh, great incentives by MassAve, you can get additional incentives if you're an Airbnb host. So for instance, I'm not an Airbnb host, but we just renovated our 1895 Victorian and switched from natural gas to air source heat pit pumps to four ductless mini splits. I did in fact get a $10,000 check from MassSave for that upgrade to the home that we did. But on top of that, if you're an Airbnb host, you can get an additional $2,000 more for being an Airbnb host. This is a brand new initiative that's just been released, a partnership between Airbnb and Abode Energy. So just some, just some amazing stuff that's going on right now on the marketplace. 
You know, we mentioned Perl certification. I'm gonna, oh, I just lost the link. I'll go directly here. Uh, I mentioned Perl certification. I'll, I'll put a link to Perl certification, how we can use this tool. Uh, we now have had enough listings in the state of Massachusetts that have been Perl certified that happened because of their leadership that they uh, that Perl sent an appraisal study uh, up here to Massachusetts. And we learned that Perl certified homes are increasing the value because of the Perl certif certification when it's properly uh, used in the marketing, increases the value of the home by uh, on average 4.5%. So that's some pretty powerful tools. I'm showing you right now uh, something that I use. This is another piece that Pearl does. It's called Green Door. So in my home's uh, renovation that I did, um, I entered all of the information as I was doing it into this app called Green Door. Uh, and come to find out, my home is Pearl Gold certified. When I add the solar PV next year, it will be Pearl Platinum certified. You can see that all of the things that I talked about, the buyer lender letter, the letter requiring a qualified appraiser, the AI green addendum, that is all part of Pearl's marketing plan, right? So for, uh, for green designated agents, I think it's 275. You contact Pearl if you have a home with high performance assets. If they, you know, first thing that you ask is, hey, have you had a home energy assessment done on your home? If so, have you made any improvements? And that's going to be 25% of the homes in Massachusetts. Well, once you know that, then you can start to pre-register the home for certification through Pearl certification. And if it qualifies as certified as a third-party certified home, you'll have access to all of this material. You, you mentioned home tour cards earlier, uh, Stacy. You know, take a look at some of these cards, making the invisible visible. You know, now I have heat pumps. So that's the top 1% of electric heated homes. I have a heat pump hot water heater. Just really good information that you can put on the assets in the home to describe to the home buyer the value uh, of, uh, of these assets in the home, right? So, you know, attic insulation, that's obviously, you know, once you button up the house is now invisible. Well, the, this is now certified and we're making the invisible visible. So just, a, and this is all stuff specifically from my home, but you can see how useful these tools are, particularly if you're at an open house or you're not accompanying a showing to have these little cards up highlight to the buyers the value uh, of these uh, 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 of these improvements that have been made. So there's a ton of stuff going on right now, Stacey. I'm going to throw a lot of these links in the chat, uh, but I just want to highlight the work. You know, I'm very proud of the work that we've done. The fact that we have the most green designated agents in the in the state. I am a little worried that some that there is a firm catching up to us. So hopefully we'll get more green designated agents in in the class on. June 6th and 7th, but there's, man, there's a ton of stuff going on right now in this part of the marketplace and it's exploding here in Massachusetts. So you really need to be on top of your game here and uh, be part of the solution with all of this stuff, Stacey. Text me the name of the brokerage. Maybe we could buy it. It's Waypoint Brokers Collective. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll throw in, it's, they, they're just doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job up there. Uh, I, I love this brokerage quite a bit. No, not more than Lair, of course, but I love yeah. this brokerage quite a bit. All right, awesome stuff. So um, as a reminder for everybody, I always like to say, I think some of this stuff, um, even if you're personally not into sustainability, like everything out there says our customers are people care about sustainability people are making buying decisions uh, when it comes to sustainability and there's still a great opportunity for you to build a sustainability niche within your business but eventually um i think it's just going to be the way the business is that you'll have to understand for example how um owned solar panels affect value of the property there are still many real estate agents who i think are not properly pricing real estate uh, based on the sustainable features 
And what it really comes down to is you don't want to be a liability to your own business. So definitely dig in. Um, I think one of the best classes that uh, has been, first of all, I know that Craig has been teaching it, but also you can watch it, I think, at NAR is the fundamentals of sustainability, which is kind of like the entry level of everything so you can get a basic understanding. And I think that's kind of the gateway to going off and learning some of this other stuff. So thank you, Craig. You got it. Uh, and then Sergio, when you're uh, updating the sustainability section, any of these links, let's just put them there so everybody can find everything in one spot. Okay, let me go back to our layer program and services guide because we have like an hour and we're only on the <laughs> second page, I think. Uh, so, all right. So we covered the layer agent services section. Um, you guys found the boot camp. So one of the big tools that we offer each month is this boot camp. And we encourage you to come back often. I see Carolyn is back with us this month. We missed you last month, Carolyn. Uh, Carolyn Brown has been on here. I don't know. It's probably she's done 18 of them, roughly. Uh, but also I see Carolyn's business in Florida growing. So whatever Carolyn's doing, we all need to be doing it because the market's getting more difficult and she's doing more business. So. Um, you can come back anytime each month, or you can always go watch the recorded version of this right after the program. We'll put it on to our, uh, YouTube station. Now, next, I just want to talk for a few minutes about the happy agent team at Lair. So several years ago, we revamped how we handle, um, supporting our agents. In the old days when agents joined our brokerage, we used to send you out a list of all the people, all the staff members in the company, and what each person's job description was. And if you need anything, just call that person direct. And we found that there were lots of inefficiencies with that. And because of those inefficiencies, agents weren't getting the help they needed all the time when they needed it. So we revamped everything. Uh, and we created this happy agent system. And basically what it is, we tell our agents that if you need anything within our company, our staff is available seven days a week. Just email happyagent at layerrealty.com. And the request that will come through and then we'll assign it to the staff member who is best suited to assist you. <clears throat> now, I tell people, even if you need me, email me at happyagent at layerrealty.com. If you need Len, if you need cert, literally anybody in the whole company, if you need us, the best way to get us is through happyagent at layerrealty.com. Here's why. Email is so inefficient. So uh, Len, myself, most of our staff is inside the happy agent system all day long. And it's just a more efficient way of us making sure we can serve you. So when a request comes through, let's just say it's somebody that needs to speak to me about something. When the request comes through, it gets assigned to me. So when I'm in the happy agent system, I'm not looking at 2000 emails that came in in the last three hours and trying to see if there's any important ones. I'm looking at a nice organized list of like the three or four people that need to get in touch with me. Same with Len, same with Sergio, all of our team. Uh, so there's lots of eyes on the happy agent um, system. So through the back end system, it also reminds us like if somebody's waiting for us, things like that. So the reason we ask you, if you need anything, just go through happyagent at layerrealty.com. That way we make sure it gets done. Because one of the reasons we found it was inefficient just to go direct to the staff member 
is what if the staff member is out sick? So maybe you need something from a particular staff member in accounting. We don't want you emailing that staff member. Go through Happy Agent so that if the staff member is out sick or on vacation, we've got somebody else that's jumping on that request to make sure you get the assistance that you need. So literally anything, there's no question you can't ask. We do our very best through that system to um, answer everything that comes through in a knowledgeable and quickly uh, in quick fashion. Now, want to quickly cover uh, three tools. So if you are a layer agent, well, let's just say any agent, when you're shopping real estate brokerages, one of the questions that um, one of the questions that gets asked quite often is, are there any monthly fees associated with being with your brokerage? Most of the companies out there have like tech fees. And at Lair, the answer is maybe. We have an optional $39 per month tech fee. Um, and if you opt into that $39 a month tech fee, you get three products. One is uh, Isaac, which is a CRM system. One is Boston Logic, which is a website platform. So our company website is built off of Boston Logic, and you get an agent version of that website. And the third piece is uh, Real Scout which is a property search database. The best way to describe Real Scout is um, many real estate agents, when you have a buyer that you're working with, you put them into an MLS search. So that MLS will email that buyer once a day or as new listings come out, just saying, hey, here's a new listing that came out in your price range. This Real Scout is very similar but in, it is an absolute upgraded search experience for the buyer. So it sends really nice uh, notifications as new uh, properties hit the market. It sends a text, it sends an email, but it's a nicer um, experience, like lots of photos in each email, things like that. As well, when the texts go through, it has like this AI component where it looks like you're having the conversation and you're sending the text, not necessarily a system that's doing it. So quickly, so basically for the $39 a month, you get all three products. Um, Isaac for your CRM and your set it and forget it marketing program. Uh, Boston Logic, which is your website platform, and then Real Scout, which is your property search platform. Everything else we covered today and everything we're going to cover, because we still have so much to share with you guys in the next hour, um, all of that stuff you get automatically if you're part of Lair. And in fact, a lot of it you get even if you're not. We treat you uh, like you're part of the Lair family in many ways, even if you're not with our brokerage. Um, but these three products are carved out as part of the $39 a month tech bundle. Now, even if you're not a layer agent, I still tell people these are great products to utilize. Uh, if you were to go buy any of these as an individual agent, that is Real Scout, Boston Logic, or Isaac, if you were to go buy any of those as an individual agent who is not at Lair, each one would cost you $39. So at Lair, you just get a discount on it. It's just slightly less expensive. By the way, I think they're totally worth it at $39 each per month. Um, I'm gonna just pull up a, a quick presentation regarding why I love the Isaac program. So I'm gonna stop sharing for one moment. So while I pull up my little presentation on Isaac, one of the things I like to point out is there are, there are literally like millions of, um, it seems like there's millions of CRM databases for uh, real estate agents. There's tons and tons of them. Most, I, 
I will say, first of all, you have to have a database. Everybody needs to have a database. That's your gold in this business. You don't necessarily need to have an Isaac database. The reason I personally love the Isaac database is because it is absolutely a phenomenal beginner's database. It does not have a million bells and whistles like some of these other programs do. And because of because it's so easy to use, uh, we get agents to adopt it. So, and that's what matters. Like what really matters when it comes to your business is that you use whatever tool you have purchased. Um, and we just find that it's very easy to help agents utilize the uh, Isaac's database. That being said, there are definitely companies that have more bells and whistles to their uh, CRM product. Now, let me just pull up a quick presentation around the Isaac. Um, by the way, on this page, when you're on the uh, layer program and services guide, on the page, on each of the pages of these three tools that are included in the tech bundle, there's links to little training videos on how to use them. So if you look on the page for Isaac, on that page, you can just click through the little links and it helps you set it up. There's a little video for setting it up, a little video for getting your newsletter going, et cetera. So uh, why do you need a CRM for your business? It's to store past customer info, to store information on prospects, like people who are thinking about buying or selling a house, helps you keep notes. And most importantly, I love this CRM for the set it and forget it email campaigns. I said this earlier that anytime you can find a set it and forget it campaign or any type of set it and forget it system for your business, you should sign up for that because um, eventually you have to eventually you have to either hire somebody to help you in your business or you need to have a lot of systems in place that are helping you in your business. It is the only way to scale a business. So this is one of those set it and forget it opportunities. Um, secondly, I would say of your top five things you're going to go execute on, if you do not have a database, this needs to be number one. This is more important than your buyer packages and seller packages, etc. If you do not have a CRM, a client relationship management system, like a database, you need one. So th that should be at the top of your list. Um, your database is your gold. So when you first become a real estate agent, oftentimes you're paying heavily for leads. You're either subscribing to lead programs or you're paying referral fees, huge referral fees to companies like Op City. By the way, I'm a big fan of all of those types of leads and I'll tell you why later, but over time, you don't want to pay those. As the longer you're in the business, the less expensive the leads should be. That's because you're building your own database. So when you your database is your gold, the leads are cheaper, it enables you to build a consistent business because you build a pipeline, your business becomes saleable, and you become much harder to forget. So... Um, by the way, if you don't stay in touch with your clients, definitely somebody else will. I've now owned brokerage brokerages for 20 plus years. And it's very interesting because 20 years ago, I don't think it was as necessary to have a database and to have set it and forget it marketing. But 20 years ago, we didn't have social media and Facebook. So all of the people who you market to, they already know four or five real estate agents. And those four or five real estate agents are within their social media marketing to them. So it's really important for you to come up with programs and systematize those programs so you're staying in touch. There's over um, 
just realtors. There's 1.4 million realtors. Um, and that does not include the people who are not realtors. So there's like 3 million real estate agents in the country. Um, Florida tops the list. So in Florida, there's like 200,000 real estate agents that you're competing against. So it's really important that you stay in touch with your people, because if you are not, somebody else is. Who goes into your CRM? Friends, family, coworkers, neighbors, every lead system you have, Op City, Zillow, Ojo, Estately, all of them. Every open house you do, you're getting new people, put them in the database. Your real estate vendors, attorneys, mortgage, everybody. That vendor list we talk about, uh, landscapers, painters, roofers, your hairdresser, your cleaners, literally everybody you meet should go in your database so that they're receiving emails from you on a regular basis. I mentioned the pricing, $39 a month. Even if you're not a Lair agent, I'd still tell you to go buy each one for $39 a month. Or you can just join Lair. We're happy to speak with you about that as well. If you're interested in learning more, by the way, about learning joining our great brokerage, you can just email happyagent at lairrealty.com and say, hey, I'm interested in learning more about joining Lair. You'll get assigned over to me. So I'll reach out to you this afternoon and we'll set up a call. Uh, some of the things I love about Isaac is they have a great support team. Um, it's super easy to upload your contacts into the system. I love um, the monthly newsletter campaign. So if you go buy the product on your own, you're not a layer agent, it comes with this newsletter campaign. So it's a set it and forget it. It will send out an e-newsletter from you on a monthly basis to anybody you put into your database. It takes a little time just to update your header for that. All you have to do is update your header once. And then from now on, they're going to get a nice email from you on a monthly basis. If you're a layer agent, you get a few additional things because we've gone in and done some customization for you. Number one, we made a nice birthday card campaign. So um, basically, if you put your client's birthday into the system, it'll email them on their birthday, a little layer um, birthday card. Uh, also, we put in, we created our own 12-week first-time buyer campaign. So if you've attended our Algorwin class, we say that if you're working buyers, you need a campaign that has heavy contact for the first 10 to 12 weeks. So part of that is the first time buyer campaign that we created within Isaac, and it's just putting people into it. So once your client is in there, you select campaigns, you put them on our first time buyer campaign. Uh, and then also it has a annual home anniversary campaign. So every time it's the one year anniversary of your clients buying or selling a home, it sends a nice card to them. The system also allows for mass emails. So you could mass email, send a mass email to everybody in your database every time you get a new listing. What do you email them? We create all of your marketing. So at Lair, we're creating all of your marketing pieces. You just take one of the images we've created for your marketing pieces and mass email it saying, hey, just got a new listing at 10 Main Street. So all of it's done for you. Um, this is, as I mentioned, one of the top five things that you should do uh, for your business is have a database. And I strongly recommend, if you're using Isaac. If you choose Isaac, then I would, sorry, I'm scrolling so much. I really want to just get to the newsletter, which is, these show you like the little anniversary. Oh, here's the newsletter. If you're using Isaac, we recorded two one-hour training programs. You can get them at youtube.com backslash layer training, L-A-E-R training. You can watch our two one-hour programs on setting up your database strongly recommend you do that. Like this is one of those things. I get that there's things that you don't love doing in your business, but the database is your gold. So that's something that even if you don't love it, 
go learn how to use whatever program you're using so that it's working for you. Uh, but this is what I love about the um, the Eyes Act one is I do think it's for thirty nine dollars a month, even just using the newsletter campaign. This is what the newsletter looks like. Yes, you can go in and customize it. Most people won't, but you can go in and change it each month if you so wish. Uh, but it's a really nice newsletter just to stay in touch with the people who you put into your database. So I'm not going to go into all of it, but just note that we do have a phenomenal um, training program, two-hour training program on that at youtube.com backslash layer training. Um, next, I want to ask Len to come on and just spend 20 minutes or so going through two products with you. One, I talk about Real Scout. So that's part of the $39 per month tech bundle. I'm going to have Len just kind of give you an overview of the Real Scout product. And then secondly, I'm also going to have him just do a quick overview of our cloud CMA. Our cloud CMA is different from the free one that many of you have access to in MLS. We've gone in and made so many upgrades to uh, our version of Cloud CMA. We want to make sure if you're a layer agent that you're utilizing those. So with that, I'll introduce Len to come on and talk about uh, Real Scout and Cloud CMA. We can't hear you, Len. No. Does your headset have a mute? Have a mute. How about now? Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Yep. You know what? I think I keep hitting this button by accident. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyway, so um, I am going to share my screen. And actually, I have some uh, emails already pulled up. Um, if you take a look, you can see one of the emails. Uh, so on Real Scout. Uh, like Stacy was saying, is that uh, it's going to email uh, your customer or client uh, whenever something new comes on the market, and it's going to look like a natural language. So this is one that uh, came and said, um, and the, and it makes it look like it's actually coming from me. And so it says, I found some properties that might interest you, and then it tells a little bit about Grove Street, colonial style, has uh, tile floors, natural gas, walk walk tra uh, walking trails. Uh, located on a wooded lot near biking trails, uh, and then with a view uh, of the park, 360 Littleton Road features walking trails, natural gas community pool, right? So that's one email that came, and here's another one that came, and it's a totally different wording. So it always comes through looking very natural. Um, so this says, uh, take a look at this listing with a view of the park, uh, Shiraz Lane features uh, Central air, tile floors, patio, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then also, uh, let's see here, what is this one? Here we go. And here is a listing that meets your needs. So every email that goes out has this natural language with it, which is really pretty cool. Um, so to show you what a buyer sees. So the thing about uh, Real Scout is it's an interactive, um, interactive buyer search program that you see exactly what uh, the buyers are looking at as it happens and you get direct feedback from them. Um, let's see. Uh, whenever I do a Zoom meeting, my computer slows way down. I don't know why. Hmm. This is taking a while. There it goes. You're so only 28, this is Len. You'd think you'd be better at this, you know, tech stuff. I mean, because you're part of that younger generation. Sergio, we need, <laughs> anyway, so this is the uh, buyer's view. This is what the buyer would see, right? And if a buyer has multiple searches, they would be over here on the right-hand side and they can switch between searches. But as soon as they click on the listing, it opens it up and they can see all the photos that are with this uh, property and everything else, right? Um, oh, hang on. But the other cool, cool thing is that what makes Real Scout different is they are actually able to give you direct feedback. They can let you know, are they interested or not interested? 
and that gives you information back immediately. Um, the other thing is they can come down here and they say, you know what, I, uh, I like the amenities, but maybe I don't like the kitchen and maybe I don't like the price, but I do like the layout, you know, and they can give you this direct feedback that comes directly to you. And now what happens is if they click here and they say they're interested, they're also able to give it a few stars if they want, right? Then they're also able to give you a direct message back. Um, and they can say, you know, uh, I want to see this one, right? And they could even suggest a day when they want to see it. Say, click on send. And what happens is I just got texted that somebody wants to see this property. Pretty cool. And it happens instantaneously. So the great thing about this is the immediate response that you get. So we're going to switch now from the buyer's view to the agent view. This is your agent dashboard. So when you sign in normally, you're going to see this page. And this is your dashboard that you're going to see over here on the right. You're going to see any messages that have come in recently, right? So um, boom. if I click here, here's a bunch of messages from this Len buyer, right? And it's got everything that he's uh, said he wants to see and everything else. But here in the center, it's going to show me everything that is happening uh, right now. So it's just a few seconds ago, uh, Len Lockery had clicked on this property and taken a look at it and gave it a rating, said he was interested in it. And so it's popped up here. Now, another one of my buyers, Leonard, he, uh, he took a look at Six Wind Road, but didn't say he was interested in it or anything. But here's what uh, uh, Leonard did open. He opened these emails right here. He also viewed Longview Circle. And as I scroll down, I can see exactly what my buyers have been opening and what they've been looking at and what they've said they've been interested in. So you get instant feedback on everything. So that's a really great thing. Um, so the thing is, is uh, to remember is that uh, the emails that go out are beautiful with natural language. And when a client opens it, you can see immediately. So over here on the left-hand side, you have a lot of different items. You can go and take a look at all your clients and see what uh, you have set up for them. You can see their information. You can see what searches they have. But I want to show you the search, uh, the search function here. This is really, really cool. Now, if you're like me, I belong to uh, two different MLSs. So I can switch between MLSs here. And I'm just going to go ahead and switch from uh, that to MLS pin. And I'm going to start searching. And so on the search, this is very typical of a lot of this is like you know, your normal search and everything. You can pick uh, status, right? And I'm going to pick, pick active, right? And then I can choose whether it's going to be single families or multifamilies or condos. And then for location searches, you have two options. Um, you have the traditional way of going like by the state, by the city or zip code, right? Um, or you can go by school and location boundaries. And the, this information is coming from the Pitney Bowes geographic boundaries, which is incredibly accurate. So if you were looking for a property, if a buyer was looking for a property in a specific school district, um, unless you were extremely familiar with where the boundaries were on that school district, you would be able to do it, or you would have to rely on how accurate the listing agent is. And listing agents, the information may not even be there, but with the uh, Pitney Bowes bo uh, geographic boundaries, um, it's very accurate. So I'm going to pick uh, the Blanchard Middle School in Westford, right? And as soon as I start typing, I get these choices and I'm going to go here and over here on the map. Now it shows the actual boundaries for the Blanchard Middle School right there. And say, let's say I was also interested in maybe in the South Row. South Row School District in um, Chelmsford. There it is, boom. And it's created another boundary. And these boundaries are very exact. So you can, um, whatever your buyer is looking for, you can narrow it down. And I think this is a really good, powerful search. Um, and it's very accurate. And of course, you know, it's a typical search. You can always put in, you know, like, uh, the price range, the minimum bathrooms, bath, you know, uh, bedrooms and everything else to narrow the search down and everything. But the great thing about this is this is, this is 
more accurate than an MLS search because you can actually put in different geographic boundaries, school districts, zip codes, or towns. Um, it's all right there. So pretty good. Um, the other cool thing about this is on Real Scout, uh, they have a function here called test the market. And I like this. And this is good if you are uh, doing a CMA. And, you know, whenever you do a CMA, you're going to say, okay, we're, uh, you know, you're going to talk to the seller and say, well, you want to be in this range or so, you know. And of course, every seller thinks their house is worth more than than what it is, of course. So this is a tool that will really help you. So I just put in my home address, uh, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and the target price is going to be five ninety nine nine hundred. And I'm going to generate and preview the report. So of course, um, the preview is going to show you me show me where the property is, right? And as we scroll down, it's going to have a graph of where the buyers are. And so. So here's very interesting. So if we price it at 599, but the seller says, hey, you know, I really wanted to be, say, uh, 629, you can show them that they would sh lose a third of the buyers if they overpriced the property. Um, if they underprice it a little, they'll gain another 10%. So I think this is a, a really good um, uh, uh, graph to show um, um, uh, your sellers. So, and it includes a heat map of where all the sales are. And it shows some of the activity that's been going on and everything. So, so this is a great general overview of Real Scout. There is so much more to it, um, but the important thing is is to get it. Um, always set yourself up for a search so that you yourself are seeing what's coming out. Um, pick you know pick a neighborhood, pick a town that you really want to concentrate on, and set it up that way. And then just start adding your clients in. Um, and you can add as many clients in as you want. You can add multiple e emails and multiple cell phone numbers for clients, and you can create multiple searches for clients too. So, um, so all that is a great overview of Real Scout. Um, so the next program I want to talk about is Toolkit CMA. So this is uh, Toolkit CMA. And you can access it several different ways. Depends on your MLS. Um, it is possible to uh, get it directly through MLS. One of the great things about MLS PIN, uh, Beaches, and the Cape and Islands MLS is that you can actually pick and choose your, your listings. And then once you've chosen your listings, you can actually go directly to um, Cloud CMA with, uh, and it'll import those listings. Now with Cloud CMA, um, uh, you can also uh, just import the MLS ID numbers and it will uh, uh, create this, pick and choose the um, properties that way too. So let me just show you about Cloud CMA. And, and um, if you are licensed in two states or have more than one MLS, um, you may have to, like I do, um, switch around. Uh, which uh, MLS you're in. So what you would do is for any changes within this program, what you wanna do is you wanna go over here to the upper right-hand corner. It could be a green circle with your initials or your photo and click here and you wanna go to account settings. And it's gonna switch over here real soon. And here in account settings, you can do uh, different things. You can actually update your MLS credentials and as you can see, the program has defaulted that I'm in New Hampshire. I can switch it to MLS. I choose my MLS, which is MLS PIN. And I choose my MLS ID, my MLS login. I update that. And now that MLS is connected to uh, Cloud CMA. The other important thing is if this is the first time you are signing in, what you wanna do is you wanna go to your profile and here's where you can update some of your information. Um, and uh, among other things, the most important thing, though, is you want to make sure that under company name, it says Lair Realty Partners, um, exactly Lair Realty Partners. Now, I know we always abbreviate and, and say it's Lair or Lair Realty, um, or if you're in Florida, you're with Lair Bowen. Um, but on this, on this program, in order to get the Lair branding, you want to make sure that you say Lair Realty Partners just like that. So. So once you've saved everything, um, you can then start your CMA. 
and I'm going to uh, open one that's already been done. Um, and let's see here, Tom Sellerman, we're going to open up this PDF. I think this PDF has uh, all of the uh, all of the layer uh, pages in it. Um, so Sergio and the marketing department have come up with some really awesome pages. And so um, with Cloud CMA, you have two ways of doing a presentation. You have the traditional way, traditional way, which is to uh, have it as a PDF and then uh, go to your office, print it, bind it, and then do a presentation that way. But some of the pages that are in here that you get to pick and choose, whether you use them or not, is like this: the in-house marketing team page. That's really great. The Layer Care, Cares page. Uh, top places to work, all of these pages, um, and you can rearrange them in whatever way you want. The 20 point marketing plan, you can actually go in and um, uh, um, um, uh, personalize this, change it around, put in your own marketing things. Um, here's more awesome pages, 40 offices, 700 agents, uh, mission. And as you keep scrolling down, now we're going to get to the actual uh, CMA. But the great thing about this is every page is going to be in the layer colors. It's going to have your information down here at the bottom, and it's going to have the layer logo there. And then the cool thing is, is it's so easy to use and the, the output is great. So here's like a map of all the comps for that CMA. It's a fake CMA, so it doesn't matter. But then here are more comps. And here's like uh, like here's you know all the sold listings with the averages and everything else and then here's the actual listings and you get to choose what style of listings you want to use i used uh, two main photos right and then all the information and then another page of just the next 12 photos that were in mls so this is what it all looks like on every page is your information and the layer logo and everything is in the layer colors so that really makes it cool so um, now, that was the traditional way of, um, of uh, looking at a CMA. The other cool thing about this is, uh, let's get him out of the way here. Uh, there's a live version. So what you can do is you can take this link, put it on your tablet. And when you go to meet with the seller, you have everything on your tablet and you can just kind of scroll through everything. It's really pretty neat. So the pages are here again, um, all about Lair. Uh, layer mission, marketing plan. And, and again, this marketing plan is uh, something that you can make changes to. Everything's going to have the layer colors, everything else. Now, the cool thing about the live program is you can click here. And so you can say, highlight different things as you go on. And then as far as going from page to page, you can click here at the bottom and it just keeps going through. And then this is really neat. This is what the listing, uh, um, uh, the comparables would look like. And so when you're sitting in front of a seller, you can say, hey, listen, you know, and you're talking about the properties you chose for comps and everything. And it's like a lot of good information here, right? When the sale date was, what the price was, everything else. But if you want more information, all you have to do is click here and it's going to take you to the actual listing. So you can sit there and say, yes, Mr. Seller, you know, it's like your house is nice, but this one had hardwood floors and granite countertops and yours still has a dirt floor and whatever. But so uh, you can go in and go through and uh, talk about the property. You can still like circle things, right? You know what? It's like that. Um, you can even make uh, price adjustments too, by the way. So you can say, well, yeah, this one had two bathrooms, you know, but yours, um, or this one only had two bedrooms or whatever, four bedrooms, three bedrooms. You can make a marketing price adjustment and you can do it on the fly even if you want to. So, which is really pretty cool. So we're gonna go back here to the listings and then we'll go to average price. So this also comes with different graphs and everything. So you can show them what the sale price was per square foot. Um, and you can see how, you know, what your recommendation is, how it, you know, um, uh, matches up. And then there's always graphs. Now on this particular one, I think I only use closed properties or in pending, right? Um, but you can do uh, closed, pending, active, and do a lot of different graphs and everything with, you know, average prices, median prices. Um, and it's all right here. Now there is one other page that you can 
choose whether or not you want to use or not. Um, and that is comparing uh, the market to uh, the Z estimates. Now, this might be helpful, especially in this case where it was showing that the Z estimates were off by 10%. Um, so it was like, you know what, it's like you don't want to overprice your house by $56,000 because you'll never sell it. So, so it depends whether you want to use it or not. Uh, time to sell. This will give you, um, oops, I don't know why this is blank, but it should have um, different um, uh, dots in here showing where uh, the actual list price is, how long it took to sell and what the actual sale price was. So another, lots of good information for everybody. So. Um, intelligent pricing. Um, there's a, a good information here for you to add because uh, part of your conversation should be like, you know, getting the seller to get into that right price range. So, so um, also, if you don't like the order everything is in, you can also come in here on the live version and make changes this way too. So that's the great thing about uh, Cloud CMA is that we have all these great pages that we've added. And these pages you can use either in the traditional CMA, which is the PDF, or you can use in the live version. So, um, and it's super, super easy to use. Unlike a couple of other programs, we used to use one where you had to download the information, save it as a text file, and then upload the information and everything else. And it was like, this makes life easy. All right, hopefully that covers uh, everything on Cloud CMA, kind of a general overview. Yes, awesome. Thank you, Len. You're welcome. All right, let me go back to our layer program and services guide. So that was kind of an overview of the uh, three products for the $39 a month, Isaac, um, Boston Logic, which we didn't really go into, but what you need to know with Boston Logic is, first of all, we have tons of little programs if you want to go in and customize your Boston Logic website, but also Sergio and our marketing team give you a website that is already up and running. So there's not a great deal of work that you would have to do to your website. And if you need some small customizations, we can assist you with that. Uh, and then you got to learn a little bit about Real Scope, uh, which I think is a phenomenal product, not only for your buyers, but also they have a system that could send out a monthly email to your seller clients as well. So when... Um, when you have a buyer that buys a house, you keep keep them within the Real Scout program and they can receive a monthly report of everything happening within their marketplace so that they have an idea of what's happening with the pricing of their home. Okay, next up, we wanna talk about all of the marketing available to you at Lair. You guys got to see a big piece of that at Lair Agent Services this morning. But uh, there's so much more to it. Our marketing team creates all of your marketing every time you get a new listing. Our marketing team creates all of your social media pieces and uh, delivers them to you by text each week. So with that, I want to invite Sergio, who heads up our marketing department, to speak for a few minutes to make sure you're fully utilizing all the marketing resources at Lair. So welcome, Sergio. Thanks, Stacy. Can you see my screen? All right. Can you see my screen? Okay, very good. Um, right. So I'm just going to go over quickly some of the resources we have available for our layer agents. I'm going to start with the marketing bundle. The marketing bundle um, is a listing um, marketing package that we create for our agents as soon as their home hits uh, the MLS. So as soon as the your home hits the MLS as live, um, not, not necessarily coming soon. And I'll show you how you can request a marketing bundle ahead of time in a little bit. You will receive you will receive an email just like this uh, from our marketing center uh, with three different links. Uh, one is to download your bundle, and your 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 um, bundle consists of social media pieces and a brochure. 
So the brochure looks just like this. It's a PDF that you can download or print directly from your browser. And you also get social media pieces that follow the whole transaction from um, new listing to under agreement, just sold. Uh, you also get uh, some open house sign-in sheets. And if you're up here in New England, you also get a coast-to-coast a, um, -coast, uh, closings flyer. Um, now you can use these as is. Um, this is especially useful on your phone. So when you do get this um, listing bundle, you can use it on your phone, uh, download the images directly on your phone and post to Instagram, to Facebook directly from your phone. You can send this PDF to someone who is interested in the property. Or you can just get that PDF and print directly uh, from your phone at one of our offices. So you can do all of that uh, very easily. Now, we are also uh, including Canva templates. We talk about Canva a lot because that's our main uh, design platform that we use at um, here at Layer because it makes it easy for us to share the original designs with you so we're not sending you you know word files um you don't have to get adobe photoshop um we send you this original design now this is great because if you do have a price improvement you can come in here and very easily and i'm going to make a copy of this because this is a live listing um you can very easily come in and just edit the text to reflect your new price. So let me, there we go. Very easily, just in Canva, all you have to do is double click and then add in your new price. Let's say it went down to 530. And just like that, I can click on share, download. I'll download this as a PDF. Um, I can download as a PDF to print if I want to print it out. PDF standard gives you a smaller file size. So if you just want to send this out as an email, you can choose that and very easily, now you have it on your computer as a download and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, now we do our best to make sure that we have the adequate photos um, for your listing. We run your description through um, uh, uh, Grammarly to make sure that everything is spelled correctly, that the grammar is all correct. Um, also, you know, if we if if we do find that sometimes we, you don't have like a full um, paragraph, we might run it through our AI system to give you a nice, more uh, well-rounded uh, listing description. Now, the other link you'll see here is for your social media, and it's just just the same. Let me, there we go, just the same. Again, this follows your whole transaction from just listed for sale, uh, open house. Now for the open house, if you scroll all the way down, uh, you will see some pieces that we don't give you um, initially um, because we would need more information. So for example, if you have a back on market, um, this open house with the, um, the actual date and time, um, as well as a price change, you can come into this, this um, Canva template, again, by clicking on social media Canva template and add in your new price. If you have an open house that's coming up, you can put in the date and time here. You can share and download this directly to your computer, um, or you can click on share and share on social. And you can post directly to Facebook, Instagram. All you have to do is connect your account uh, you just have to make sure you you choose the correct page to post. We try to label the pages so it makes it easy for you to ch just choose the page. I'm going to do this uh, open house customized one, and then it will post directly to your account. Connecting the account is very easy. You just click on share on social, and then you choose an account that you want. Uh, for example, a Facebook page. You click on connect Facebook and just follow the instructions. You only have to do this once. Um, but once you have that all set, you can post directly from Canva. You don't have to download to your phone. Uh, down here, we have a couple of links uh, for direct for requesting printing and mailing, um, as well as some open house signing sheets as well. Um, so yeah, you get this whenever your, your listing goes live on the MLS. If you want to request a 
uh, a bundle ahead of time. So I'll go to layeragentservices.com. Uh, there is a special marketing request button here that we'll press and um, just give us as much as information as you can, right? So we'll do a, um, a new listing, right? So you want to give us, obviously you won't have the MLS number yet, uh, but if it is coming so on, soon on the MLS pin, you can give us uh, that, that number, I believe. Um, if not, it's not required. You can just give us the price. You can upload the original photos, and this is very useful, and then submit. And so usually within 24 hours, you will get your uh, listing sheet, your listing bundle. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to cover is the social media pieces. So we try to make it incredibly easy for you guys to share your social media. Um, we send you an email and you'll see this in many different formats, right? You'll get an email, uh, you'll get a text message. And then from within Layer Agent Services, you can also access all of the uh, social media pieces. But for the email and for the text message, we send you the full week on Monday. So this one came out Monday, eight o'clock in the morning. You'll get an email just like this that's, that has your whole social media planned out for the whole week. Now, uh, it's the beginning of the month, so we're including um, Facebook covers just to reflect the month. You know, we won't have any winter scenes, right? Um, you can put the, these as covers for your Facebook or, or banner, Facebook banners. Um, we are including suggested captions. You know, before we were just providing images. Now, alongside the images, we're giving you suggested captions. Sometimes you don't know what to say. So this is a great um, both start off point. You can just grab this whole whole um, this whole caption um, and paste it in, um, or you can grab part of it. You can grab some of the hashtags, and this covers the whole week. We're also including um, uh, Facebook Stories, Facebook and Instagram Stories. Uh, you will also receive a text. Let me show you what that looks like. Just like this. And it's the same thing. So this will take you to our marketing center where you can very easily download and copy the text, copy the captions. Um, again, we try to provide <laughs> these links uh, in many, many places. Um, that, that's it. Anything else? Think you muted. A um, couple things I just want to point out for our agents is number one, if you're not getting the text messages for any reason or the emails, just shoot an email to Happy Agent and uh, we can look into it for you. Uh, we try to send the text messages out on Monday mornings, but they batch them because we have so many real estate agents. So sometimes you might get them in the afternoon. So that's just something that we can't control, but we do our best to get them out as early as possible to you guys. Uh, but basically that's, that's it. Um, let me pull up. Well, I have a few more things I want to share with you guys. We only have about 20 minutes left, but thank you, Sergio. You're welcome. All right, let's see. We're going to go back to our layer program and services guide. All right, we're back at our guide. The other thing I like to remind people it's in the images that you get as part of your bundle. So when uh, the marketing team sends over your new listing bundle, again, you don't have to ask for it. We do it automatically. Um, th they send you the Canva template so you can go customize and they send you a Google folder. So you can just click on that for agents that don't like to play with Canva. Uh, you can go in and just download the image and start using them. Uh, those images are really great for doing mass emails to your database through Isaac. 
so that you can just do a mass email every time you get a new listing to everybody in your database to say that you got a new listing. And you don't even have to write anything. You just upload the image that we gave you in your Google folder. Secondly, I do want to point out that we highly recommend, it's not 100% necessary, but we highly recommend that you have the upgraded version of uh, Canva. So Canva has two versions. One is free and one is $12.95 per month. The reason we uh, recommend the $12.95 a month one is because of, there's a few reasons. Number one, you can schedule out your social media and stuff like that, which is really cool. Uh, but also we really recommend it because of the level, you get way more stock images in the paid version. And sometimes what happens is we use the nicer images in our social media marketing in when we're preparing the brochures and stuff like that. So what happens is if you have the free version and you use one of our templates for like the buyer brochure or the seller brochure, uh, if you use one of our templates and you're using the free version of Canva, when you open the template, you can still use all of the stuff we've written, but sometimes you'll come across a photo that has a big X across it. And that is because we used a photo that was uh, one of the upgraded photos and you're in a free version of Canva that doesn't allow for that photo. Not a huge deal because you can just click on the image and change it out and put whatever image you want in there. So it's not a huge deal, but you get like millions and millions of really nice stock images for your marketing. I think it's worth the $12.95 per month. Um, and you can it's even less if you do the yearly plan. Same with our social media. Sometimes that happens with our agents using the social media posts. They'll go to use like to customize a Facebook image and it's got a big X on the photo. That is because you're using a free version of Canva and we used an upgraded image, which is in the paid version of Canva. We don't have a ton of time to spend on this today, but in the last 30 days, so for two years, we had a contract with AdWorks for marketing your new listings. We just moved this over to Boost by HomeSpotter. So anytime you list a new property, by the way, it's not active yet. I think we're still a couple of weeks out. So I'd say definitely by the end of May, all of your listings will automatically be boost on HomeSpotter if you're a Lair agent. Um, but basically what this is, it's pay-per-click marketing on your listings. For two years, we had AdWorks. This is very similar to AdWorks, but um, they guarantee more leads. So they say that we'll get an average of 12 to 14 leads per listing. It's pay-per-click marketing of your listing. And for every new listing that comes to Lair, we, through the system, create a landing page to collect leads. All the leads go directly to you. It does have a reporting feature so that your seller can get a nice report of how much marketing you're doing. We'll do some additional training on this um, in the weeks that come up to the launch. But if you want to just see kind of a quick overview of it, if you go to youtube.com backslash layer training, and just watch our last sales meeting, which was the April sales meeting, you'll see we did about a 30 minute overview of the Boots by Home Spotter product. A uh, little bit on our training, I mentioned we have Lair University. So basically all of our training programs are housed in a couple different spots. One is Lair University and one is YouTube. So we put anything on YouTube, we put it there just because it's easy to access. You don't have to log in each time. At Lair University, there's even more content. Anybody can access it, but you do need to put in an email address and set up an account. That's only because we're tracking to see what agents are watching so that we can 
provide more great content of what you guys like the most. But um, on this page here, these are all live links to our most popular classes. So we kind of monitor and what is it that agents are watching the most? And these are some of those classes. I already talked about the coaching program. If coaching is something that you need, by all means, go visit us at layerrealty.com backslash layer coaching. It tells you all about the program. Uh, and you can actually fill out the form to sign up so that you're considered for our next coaching group. Uh, at Lair, we love doing all kinds of stuff. Um, I highly encourage you if you're a Lair agent to participate in the classes, the networking. Uh, every month at every office, we have our uh, birthday lunch club. And it's just a celebration of the agents that have birthdays in that office for the month. You're welcome at any of our office locations anytime. And we encourage you to get out there and network because that's where deals are made and you learn new things from your fellow real estate agents and things like that. So get out there and uh, participate. Uh, I did mention that we had a page set aside for agents that need training on forms. If you're a brand new agent and you need help with real estate forms, like the offer, the agency disclosure, stuff like that, there's a link here at layerrealty.com backslash transaction blueprint that will assist you. We also have a link here at layerrealty.com backslash listing tools. If you're a layer agent, these are all the things we think you should be speaking about at a listing presentation. You never know what, um, what is going to uh, really attract a client to work with you. So it's important that you cover everything. So we kind of put a list in there at layerrealty.com backslash listing tools. Uh, payday. So at Layer, everything we do is by e-check. Uh, we try to make it as simple as possible so you never have to uh, go anywhere to collect a deposit, to get paid on a transaction, to get checks for a closing. So for example, if we're holding all the money on a transaction in escrow, we just email you the checks that you bring to closing. Um, super easy to do. You can print them and bring them right to the closing. You can email them to the closing attorney. As well, I can't stress enough, we're really proud of the fact that we try to keep it as simple as possible when it comes to forms and disclosures and stuff like that. That's one of the upsides to being a small independent real estate company. Sometimes when uh, agents work at the large uh, shareholder owned public brokerages, those brokerages, the forms they have for buying and selling real estate are crazy. They have these huge packets that a buyer or seller has to sign in order to do work with the agent. All of those disclosures are set up because of the shareholders. So the disclosures at many companies are set up to protect the brokerage and they are not set up to protect the customer they claim to be protecting. So what we're very proud about at Lair is that we have very minimal forms. The forms you will find are the ones required by law. You're not going to see an additional package 30 pages long, which I just saw from another real estate company, 30 pages of additional documentation required by the brokerage to protect the brokerage, not to protect the buyer and seller or seller, it's to protect the brokerage. We have none of that. So what, what we require, so we do have a compliance team and the compliance team will absolutely make sure that you have all of your paperwork and that it's signed in the proper places and it's initialed in the proper places. But we're really proud of the fact that it is truly designed to uh, protect the client. We're not trying to sign away the client's uh, rights and liabilities as part of the transaction. 
This page on our program and services guide uh, is all the different companies that offer leads. On the left-hand side of this page, we have the referral fee-based lead platforms. On the right side, we have the subscription-based lead platforms. A referral fee-based lead platform, many of you know, is a company that will you sign up, they will give you leads, but if you close one of those leads, you have to pay a percentage of the transaction to uh, that referral company. So, for example, we do a lot of business with OpCity. They're probably one of our biggest referral fee-based lead platforms. Um, a subscription-based lead platform is a company that will have you pay monthly. They'll say, you pay us this amount per month, and we'll give you a certain number of leads per month. If I had to pick from the two sides, the one that I prefer is the referral fee-based lead platforms. because you might get quite a few leads and not end up selling something to one of those leads. And that's under both platforms. So at least under the referral fee-based lead platform, you're not taking on a hefty monthly expense. You're only taking on an expense if you end up selling a property. I also encourage agents to think differently about these because sometimes agents say, well, I don't want to pay a 35 or 38% referral fee. What you're building, especially if you're a newer real estate agent, what you're building is a platform of people to market to. And you need as many people to market to as possible so that you can turn some of them into buyers and sellers on which you get paid. So the upside to working with like the op cities, for example, is you're going to get lots of people to market to. And every single one of them should go into your database and you should be sending them your newsletters and inviting them to client appreciation events and stuff like that. Because each person that you market to has the potential to become a raving fan. They have the potential to refer you to other buyers and sellers. So yes, occasionally you might sell them a house too and pay a referral fee, but who cares? Hopefully they're going to be a lifelong referral source for your business. Um, anyways, if you work at Lair, we could sign you up for Op City. All you have to do is email happyagent at lairrealty.com and we'll sign you up for that platform. Um, there's a ton of other referral fee-based lead platforms and so these, you have to go in and sign up for each one individually. Uh, I would highly recommend that you take an hour out of your time to go through each one and sign up. I would also say that many agents end up turning back. So they start this process and they turn back because the company has a waiting list. Many of these companies have waiting lists where they'll say, oh, for that area of Massachusetts or Florida, we're not currently taking any people. And so the agent stops filling out everything. I have to tell you, we have so many agents that are getting into these programs right now because now in the next 18 months is when we're going to see an attrition of real estate agents, people leaving the business. And these already we're seeing that these uh, waiting lists are opening up. I'm getting calls from agents who were on the Veterans United list for a very long time. It's a coveted list to be on in the real estate world because you will get a lot of business. And uh, agents that have been on the list for a while are now getting on into the program because they added themselves to the waiting list. So by all means, I highly recommend that you take each one. These are all live links. So you can actually just click on each one and go through the process of signing up for those. Um, Len did a phenomenal job on our Cloud CMA program. We also have a customized version of RPR, the Realtor Property Resource Platform. Um, I like both of them equally. I think both of them have great... Um, they look nice. They do. They provide a great value without a lot of heavy lifting. Um, many of you guys know we we look at it that real estate is a lifestyle. So with all the other stuff that we do, the training and stuff like that, we also do 
have a focus on mindfulness. Many of you receive the Mindful Monday newsletter that goes out every Monday. We also do every Wednesday, there's a yoga class, um, virtual yoga that we offer. Um, this is just a business supply directory. Uh, we do have in-house transaction coordinating team. If you if you are an agent that hates paperwork or you're at a point in your business where you're getting overwhelmed because you have a lot of buyers and sellers and you don't want to do paperwork anymore, email happyagent at learrealty.com and we'll put you in touch with our transaction coordinating team. Well worth it. Let them take over the transaction. They get introduced into the program as uh, or into each transaction as your assistant. Uh, I always like to remind agents that all the good things we have at Lair are a byproduct of the committees that we have. Um, we do take agent feedback very seriously. If you go to LairRealty.com backslash committees, you can learn about the different committees and see if you have an interest in having a voice in the future of our company and the tools and the training and stuff that we offer at Lair. Uh, you got to hear from Craig today, our chief sustainability officer. So there's a little bit of information here and some links. But now you can also go to LairAgentServices.com. We get that cool sustainability tools link. So you can go in and play with that and download some really awesome materials to better serve your clients. Uh, also, one thing we're really proud about, we have lots of office locations, and we do take great pride in having beautiful office locations, uh, beautiful artwork, because each office adds to our energy, and it is our energy and our vibration that attracts business to us. So one of the ways that we contribute to that high vibration for our agents is through the office spaces. And then last but not least, uh, at Lair, we have lots of office locations. If you're a Lair agent, you can use any of our office locations uh, whenever you want. Um, you just go down to LairAgentServices.com backslash office access. There's a little link there that you can fill out. And it'll give you, you fill out your name, your Lair email address, your phone number, and Let's just say you want to go sit in the PBD office this weekend to meet a client. You just fill out this little form. The system will email you everything you need to know to get into that office. And that is it. We are exactly at 12 o'clock. So I want to thank everybody for joining us. That was a very long program. Uh, I see that we do have a mix of Lair agents and non-Lair agents. If you are not part of Lair and you're interested in learning more, we always I always promise that this class, we're going to give you so much great information that even if you decide to continue on your current path, that you walk away feeling like you got a lot out of the three hours. Um, but if you're interested in learning more about Lair and what we're working on, even if we don't have an office near you, do not fret. We're happy to, we're excited to move into lots of new territories. So if you like everything that you heard today and you'd be interested in hearing more about um, the value we bring to our agents please just email happyagent at lairrealty.com uh, and just say that you're interested in learning more about Lair. That will get assigned to me, Stacey Alcorn. I'm the CEO of Lair. And uh, I'll reach out to you and schedule a call. And for all of our Lair agents who attended throughout today's program, we appreciate uh, you joining us. And uh, thank you to Craig, Sergio, and Len for another great boot camp. Thanks, everyone, and have a great weekend.